going. That dead badger in the middle of the road. Yeah. Has more of a personality than people. It fucking does. Shut up. We're talking. Me and Aaron were it's talking about that dead badger in the middle of the road. He's loving life <laughs> more than Biggles. <laughs> Actually, yeah. if dead badger loving life. Mm. No, uh, no um, offense to you animal activist people. Like we felt we didn't kill the badger. So anyway, oh, we're, we're trying a new topic here. We're going to call it um, mental news. Yes. Well, I did that. It's our opinion on the Because we were genuinely having conversations. Biggles, are you going to get yourself in on this or what? Well, there we go. Actually, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't working today. <laughs> it got wrong the moment. He got out of bed this morning. About 10 people just kicked <laughs> off there. Yeah, he just lost about 20 views there just from that. I'm joking, call it. Um, no, I'm serious with people, get in. No. Things, get in. Get in, bro. Man, you're part of the That's team. That's it now. Oh, I'm sitting now, is it? I'm the guy behind the camera. Your kid be on the camera. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, we were genuinely having a conversation about latest news stories, and I just thought, you know what? We have some valid points here. Shall I kick it off? And opinions. Go. Right. I read an article last night that freaked me out, and I brought it up today. Scientists have created a virus that apparently can kill cancer cells, which, if it can, that's groundbreaking, fair play. This is supposed to have been going on for the last 10 years. No, right? no, no, but it's apparently it's confirmed now. Well, well according, confirmed to, according to the Telegraph and the Sun. <laughs> so, but so anyway. The Telegraph and the Sun have confirmed it. Can we just say? As long as, long as they confirm it, okay, they'll fuck it. Okay, it. okay, it might not be real, right? Or it might <laughs> be real. Let's just say it's real. This is the same Telegraph that fucking said that Mental Monkey had a one star rating. Let's just say, yeah, this is real, okay? Yeah. So, they've created a virus, right? Similar to cowpox, uh, smallpox, right? right. Now, how many people? How many people smallpox killed? No, over three hundred million people. So what if this goes wrong? How many people are in the world? So I think that statistic might be slightly bi- wrong. Seven or eight billion. What you and think? Smallpox killed how many? For over three hundred million throughout the years. Do the maths. Oh, throughout the years, not yeah. just one no. epidemic fucking mass murder. No, but even if it did wipe out three hundred million, there's still going to be billions of people. That can yeah. easily happen. So what if, so this thing's made by man. Everything made by man generally goes wrong. So what if it don't um, kill cancer cells, or it does, really? and, then it, and then it mutates? Oh, I'll, dis- I'll disagree with that. Okay. I was made by a man. That proves my fucking point. Stop, <laughs> if you're watching this scientist, <laughs> there you go. Uh, so yeah, that's my point. What about if it's a zombie apocalypse waiting to happen? I know I sound like a conspiracy theorist, but it could happen. I genuinely believe that that would happen at some point. Yep. I've got some news. Okay. <coughs> um, me and Biggles were reading an article earlier on the model Jordan. Model Jordan? Katie Price. Katie Price. Oh, okay. She's done a kiss and tell. Apparently, she had a uh, um, a bedroom romance with Simon Cowell. Dirty right. dog. They've been friends for over 20 years. They do a lot of flirting, and after I think it was a Brit Awards or some award ceremony, um, he got him and her chauffeured to his mansion in um, London. Right? right? She said they got naked. This is brilliant because <coughs> we have this regular conversation. You'll see where I'm going. Right. Um, she said they got naked. Uh, they had a laugh. She ran, not spit food out, uh, her hands through his chest hair, yeah. and realised that this was the first time she's been with a real man. Which is really nice. Personally, I think she's stroking his ego a bit to try and get married and then right. take him for fucking shit notes. But hey, uh, that's none of my business. That could possibly happen, yeah. yeah. Well, would she think the same if she pulled a bear? In the same article, it stated, I would like to make it clear, we got naked and we had fun. And Simon got me a, uh, a lift back in the morning. Right, so you've got a show for us last morning. Gentlemen, eh? Absolutely. Right. She wants to make it clear that they did not have full sex. Oh, I know where you're going with this. Right, here we go. Which implies she gave him a blowjob. Yes. Uh, or wanked him off. And she feels better about it. Right, here we go. Oh. Why did I do that? And then she put in there because my mum drummed it into me on how important it is not to have one night stands. Okay. A man will respect you more. <laughs> a man will respect you more. Um, and he will want you more if you hold out by a couple of weeks. So, right, for the women out there, yes, I'm let, gonna... let's, let's, let's mm. really fucking, okay. from men here. Okay, if a man likes you, right, 
he ain't, he ain't old Let's just mm. talk about the obvious here. Okay. I'm going to tell you now, a man is not going to respect you more for giving him a wank instead of a shag. It doesn't make a difference. It ain't going to happen. And believe me, you have left that house with no more dignity <laughs> than what you think you've left it with. Yeah. You know what? I, I, I let him I'll finger me it. and, I, and I'll, I'll give him a blowjob. I let him ejaculate all over my mouth. But I didn't have sex with him, so he knows I'm a proper fucking classy bird. Yeah. Uh, don't work like that. But trust to, me. To be honest though, right? If a man likes you, <coughs> and yes. this, this works both ways, right? If a man likes you or if a woman likes you, whatever. If you put it on the first night, or it's the fucking it three or four weeks, if he likes you, he's gonna come back. Yeah. If if he's just in it for sex, he'll wait two or three this weeks. This is true. If if you if a guy, if you end up sleeping with a guy, having sex with a guy on the first date, and he genuinely likes you, and you like him, it it's gonna again. work. Yeah. Exactly. People if think, it ain't gonna work, it ain't gonna work. And if you think, oh yeah, but if I make him wait a bit longer, then he'll want me more. Listen, men ain't stupid. He will wait right. for that. He will wait if he just wants to fuck you and use you. He'll wait and wait and wait, tell you what you want to hear, then he'll fuck you and then he'll use you anyway. So it makes no difference whether you give it up on the first night or whether you give it up on the fourth or fifth night. It happens. No difference. No. But trust me when I say you have degraded yourself if you if if you just don't have sex and just let him do everything else. You, you don't look any better. And there's no point as well. And I know there's going to be a lot of guys watching this go, fucking hell, mate. You're giving away our secrets here. Calm down. <laughs> but, and women, look at your man right now with what I'm about to say. Oh, no. <clears throat> because it happens a lot. Those women, and, and just watch his reaction. Those women out there that, um, that think that we're stupid enough to believe, you know. You meet him on the first night. Right. Or you've been out on the night. I know what you Come back to your hotel. So can I finish it, what you're gonna say? She starts giving you a blowjob. You can, you can finish off the line. She starts giving you a blowjob. Right, you're out, right? That's me, oh. right? You come back Whoa. up. <laughs> you come back up. Yeah, come here, babe. And what do they always say? Go. I don't normally do this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally do this on the first day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't bother oh. wasting your breath, we don't care. <laughs> we don't. It don't matter. As, yeah, Just... it doesn't matter whether you do or whether you don't, and trust me, we ain't gonna believe you anyway. <laughs> You uh, might as well have just not mentioned it. I knew where you was going with that. <laughs> oh shit, we're gonna get some people are gonna find offence to this. Because the next day, when the guy's telling his mates about the night before. Because you think he won't. Don't tell any of your mates I'm like this, will you? Because I don't want them to think, no baby, I won't, of course I won't. Men talk to their mates just as much as women talk to their mates. Yes. Actually, and if you said that, that'll be the first thing. Because the first question will be, did she say, I don't normally do this on a first date? No. Oh. Always the way. Yeah, we end up in group chats though, men do. <coughs> Talking about group chats. Women, don't be stupid enough to think that men don't share pictures. Oh. Because they do. It's illegal. But, is it? It's actually illegal. <laughs> so yeah, it carries a prison sentence now. Because when so a girl I, goes, baby, if I send you this picture, you know, I don't <laughs> I don't normally send pictures. I've never sent it in my life. That's another one. I've never sent a picture in my life. But then they send a picture that ain't now, that they just so happen to have stored on their fucking phone. Yeah. Which is at such an angle, <laughs> someone else must have fucking took it. <laughs> <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen a meme of that. <laughs> and if you think they're not gonna show their mates, you're fucking stupid. Well, if you end up getting in a relationship with a guy, and the guy actually likes you, no. Nope. It's very controversial then, um, this, isn't it? You've got nothing to worry about. That guy will not share a picture, and he won't talk to you, his mates about you. But if you do happen to be that girl that does um, say the obvious, and is very predictable, and does end up just being a one night stand, don't be stupid enough to believe that he ain't gonna say anything, because he will, all men do. Apart from us, we've never done that. Oh, uh, ever. Have we? No. No. Yeah, so there we go. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so going back onto Katie Price. Right, fucking hell, that, that, that drifted off, didn't it? <laughs> Let's go back onto Katie Price. What's uh, going on with uh, Earl Simon? I don't know. If she's rubbing her hands for it for his chest there, saying he's a real man. If um, Bigfoot's watching, you're in luck, mate. <laughs> well, Sasquatch. Hey, AKA the... George. <laughs> <laughs> I trade legends. They stop. <coughs> this is what I don't understand. Her model boyfriend states that he's caught text messages that proves that she's been cheating on him with Simon Cowell, right? Okay. She's saying she's never cheated, and these are personal texts between me and Simon Cowell. Well, listen, if you're sending, if it's... That's cheating anyway. Yeah, it is. 
Texting's cheating. Let's clarify this as well. Yep. Te- well, what's well, genuine texting isn't cheating, but let's no, just clarify yeah. this. Okay. Women are allowed male friends, okay? Males if you're are not allowed controlling, females friends. They're allowed male friends. Yeah. But you know, there are when you're in a relationship, you can't really send messages to your male friends that the same as what you used to, can you? That ain't really allowed. I suppose, yeah. It, okay, it's called having respect for your partner, isn't it? Absolutely. Now, a girl, I mean, I've been, I've, I've heard okay. of girls that have um, given a guy a blowjob right. or done something to a guy but can't have sex with a guy because that's cheating. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They have this conversation That's before. bizarre. That's right. bizarre. So in their head, they haven't cheated. Or they'll have sex with a guy, but they won't kiss him because that's cheating. So if you went down on a girl, you had a girlfriend, right? Mm-hmm. And you done that. That's uh-huh. cheating. In your mind, as you can't... As long as I didn't kiss the bird, no, it's not. Huh? Jennifer should, should just accept it. What do you mean? Exactly. It's fucking cheating. Whoa. Yeah. So I don't really know how they can get away with that. So my answer to Katie Price is, listen, you've just publicised... <laughs> The fact that yeah you didn't have full sex with him, but you've also stated in your own words you ran your fingers through his chest hair and realised that this is the first time you've been with a real man. How do you think that's going to make your boyfriend feel? That made me feel like shit. Yeah, I'll that's fucking, pretty much the same as cheating, isn't it? I'll put cut. I'd have to put carpet on my chest or something so she can. No, dump the bitch. No, 